I would like to highlight the burning human rights situation in Baljistan, where massive violations of basic human rights are taking place on a daily basis. Pakistani security forces abduct, torture, and kill Baloch political activists and civilians on daily routine. Despite being a member state of this council, Pakistan has been unable to fulfill its commitment to human rights and resolutions of this council. Pakistan has always tried to silence any voices being raised on human rights abuses in Baljistan as internal matter. While human rights are universal and any violations should be a global concern. The Baloch people continue to face worse forms of atrocities and human rights abuses at the hands of Pakistani security forces. Enforced disappearances, torture and extrajudicial murders of Baloch political activists, human rights defenders and students by state agencies continue unabated. My organization has been reporting and reporting such gross violations of human rights to this council, but unfortunately no steps have been taken to prevent them from reoccurring. 173 Baloch people have been abducted by the Pakistani authorities since the start of this year, and 91 people have been extrajudicially murdered. This makes the average as 10 cases of enforced disappearances and 3 custody killings every week. This is an alarming situation which requires immediate attention and action by the international community, especially this council. My NGO is witnessing the abuse of basic human rights in Baluchistan as has witnessed in African countries. Unfortunately, enforced disappearances and the systematic abduction of the females is being used by the Islamic State as a tool to rule and dominate Baluchistan. A picture of the Baloch females shows us that the veteran and the brave Baloch females, including the children who marched thousands of miles from Quetta to Islamabad via Karachi in search of their loved ones, but unfortunately till date neither any state institution nor any international organization, including the bodies of this institution, had played any effective role for the safe recovery of the victims of enforced disappearances in Baluchistan. As a repercussion, the Baloch females became the victims to pay through enforced disappearances being held as sex slaves in military torture cells and by becoming victims of extrajudicial torture.